For the next 24 hours, I will be locked inside this elevator. Timer starts now. So you're probably wondering, Brandon, why in the world are you doing this? Well, 20 years ago, I was playing hide and seek with a friend and I found the best hiding spot in a small cabinet. Problem is, it was such a good spot, I couldn't get out and nobody could find me. I was trapped there for almost an hour and ever since then I've been riddled with claustrophobia. So I thought today was the perfect day to face my fear and lock myself in a tiny elevator for 24 hours. Ugh. All right, enough childhood stories. Let me show you guys what I have for the next 24 hours. So I brought three liters of water. I am hoping that is enough. I brought a pillow. I brought this tiny little sleeping bag. Although this place is so small, I don't think I'm gonna be able to lay down, but I got a sleeping bag. Got an empty bottle of water for obvious reasons. I brought a ton of food, a trash bag, and last but not least, a walkie-talkie where I can talk to Steve, who's right outside. Steve, can you hear me? 10-4, I read you loud and clear. Over. Okay, these walkie-talkies are almost as old as I am. I just got these from my parents' basement the other day. I cannot believe these work. All right, time to make myself comfortable. I have 24 hours. Hey Steve, you ever hear the story when I locked myself under Matt's bed while playing hide and seek? Steve? Hey Steve? Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, so the guys at ScreenWave, which is where I am right now, told me that the elevator light only lasts for like five minutes if you keep the door shut. So I brought some lights. The batteries don't last forever, but they should give me enough light, hopefully. Okay, hey, that's actually not that bad. I have no idea how long these lights are gonna last, so I should probably conserve them, but that's, that works. At least you guys can see me. Another thing about this challenge, I don't have a phone, I don't have a watch on, I have no way of knowing how long I've been in here. The only thing I do know is when 24 hours is over, that door will open. I'm guessing I've been in here for an hour and a half, maybe two hours, but I have no idea. To help me keep track of time and keep me from going crazy, I started a little tally on the wall. Every time I thought another hour passed, I put another mark with my finger. It was definitely not a perfect system, and you'll see later in this video, my sense of time gets completely messed up, but it was better than nothing. It is so hot in here. It's gotta be like 90 degrees at least. So I am legitimately very claustrophobic in real life. I'm not just saying that for the video. The only thing keeping me from flipping out right now is this button right here. The guy that runs this building told me today that if I press this button at any point in this challenge, I can get out of here. Now, if I press that button, it means I quit and I lose the challenge. So I'm gonna do everything I can to not press it. This angle shows you just how small this elevator really is. Being locked in any elevator for a day would be tough, but an elevator this small brought the challenge to a whole new level. So according to my tally, I hope you guys can see that, it says five. I'm guessing that I've been here for five hours. I started the challenge around 3 p.m., which would mean it's 8 p.m. right now. The office building was really loud in the beginning. I heard people walking around. I heard doors opening and closing. Now it is silent. So if it's 8 p.m., most people would be home now. That's what I'm guessing. There were several times in this challenge where I just wanted to press that button and get out of the elevator, but I knew I wasn't actually in any danger, and if I quit the challenge, I'd be super disappointed afterwards. Okay, so according to my hour chart, it has been nine hours, which would put us right around midnight. I don't know if that's right, but that's my best guess. I think this is a good time to go to sleep. I'm gonna try to unpack my sleeping bag, and I think I'm gonna lay diagonally, 
I have a hard time believing I'm gonna be able to sleep much, but the more hours I can sleep, the less hours I have to be awake in, in here. It's definitely not gonna be my most comfortable night's sleep, but honestly, for a tiny elevator, this isn't bad. Sometimes it really comes in handy being short. All right, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. Um, I slept terribly. I probably slept like 30 minutes total. My back is absolutely killing me. I don't know what time it is. Uh, my sense of time is completely, completely distorted now. The elevator completely blocks out all light. So if the sun is up or down right now, I have no idea. I'm hoping it's like eight in the morning, which would mean I have seven hours remaining. All right, so here's my plan for today. I wanna to see if I can exercise in here. I know it's a small elevator, but I am so tired of just sitting for hours. So if I can do some push-ups and sit-ups in here, that would be awesome. I also wanna clean up the elevator. When, when Steve opens that door, I'm getting out of here. I don't wanna waste time cleaning up. That, that's pretty much the end of my plan for today. This had to have been one of the most ridiculous workouts I've ever had in my life. It was actually not that bad, other than the fact that the elevator creaked so much, I thought I was gonna fall to my death at any moment. I guess I was on the first floor, so I couldn't really fall that far, but it just didn't feel very sturdy. Workout complete. Also, according to my chart, I don't know if you can see this, but I am at hour 18, which means six hours left if that's right. I wanna talk about the food and water situation. So my water's pretty good. I have a little less than half of my water left, so I think this should be fine. The food situation, I packed plenty of food, but I'm just sick of it. So I have like salty stuff like nuts and crackers, and then I have, oh, that's not good. All right, I just lost, oh no, I lost one of my lights. So I had four lights, two big ones and two small ones. And if I show you, that one just went out. Oh man, if I have to finish this challenge in darkness, that's gonna be horrible. So I just lost light number two, uh, that one right there. So we only have this light remaining and uh, that light remaining. It's pretty dark in here. I'm assuming we have to be close. According to my chart, I'm at hour 22, which would mean I'm only two hours away. But again, my sense of time is so messed up. Steve could open that door at any moment or I could have another 15 hours. I'm not really sure. All right, the third light went out, so I am down to just this little tiny light. I do have a camera light, so that should help at least you guys see me. There we go. Also, I've passed 24 hours on my tally, so clearly I was counting too fast, which is kind of disheartening. I'm praying Steve gets here soon. I knew this was gonna be a hard challenge, 24 hours in this tiny elevator, but man, this is, this is harder than I thought. Oh, thank God. Am I done? Can You're I done. Wait? You made it. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Why are you dressed up as Santa Claus? I thought you were trying to get over your claustrophobia. Claustrophobia. Yeah. Did it work? I think I'm more afraid of elevators now than before. Yeah.